Hello guys, this is uh, update 1.5 or 1.3.5, sorry. Um, just had a video about the uh, Volcari and the sniper setup. And this is more like of a brawler slash long range, whatever you want to call it basically, because I've got a long range and long range and also really close range and this to do good at, um, at um, any distance basically. Um, I've got also this to follow up with. This, uh, this MK2, I'm still not too sure. I've been practicing on it. I mean, this is probably, I'll probably go all G5K on top of it, but um, I'm not sure what's gonna happen next update, so I'm just saving my coin and not uh, upgrading stuff that might be useless for the next update. And that was my whole point about the argument with the developers, that the changes are too quick for us to just spend all this money to get the weapons to high levels and then they're worth nothing or they just completely change the style of it. Um, so we'll try the Zerker at first and then you guys will be the judge. The AIs have got them very, very strong. So, and they have got Atlases and Zerkers and all guys on the field. So just, uh, yeah, keep in mind that uh, you have to take cover and let them engage each other first or um, don't fire at them until you are at the right distance with your weapon system and they will not engage you at this stage. This might change in the future. Awesome, if you're a real player, that's what I wanted. Um, destroy all mechs, LMS. No, it's still... Uh, so we'll go with this and we'll stay indoors, perfect for it. So if uh, you had a fast board, I guess you'll go and get T and E first, but this worked out perfect. Um, for what I want to do, I have no idea who this player is, I guess I should check it, because it could be a deadly one, Jaguar, he's alright. So he's got cannons set up on there, which is really, really deadly at close range, as you can see. So I'll bring mine out and then teach him a lesson, I guess. Take this. As you can see, the AIs are very, very, very damaging. And use your AIs as cover. Put it then put first. If that AI starts firing, the, the enemy AI, then my AIs will start engaging him as well. Um, so at this stage, the other guy doesn't know what to do because if he comes close, he's gonna get blasted. I've got two AIs covering me, so. As you can see, he's doing really smart, covering himself with his own AIs. <coughs> so my plan didn't go as predicted. Uh, I wanted really to take out as many of his AIs as possible. Um, But I think I'm leading in the... I have taken more of him than he's taking me out, basically. So that's all good. <coughs> I'll go collect a few beacons and take a couple more of his AIs and...
So yeah, I lost a few of his tea, as you can see, but I have taken his AIs out and that, that works good on long range because they are powerful. So the more AI I have left, the less AI he has left, it's, it's going to be more in my favor, of course. He's got long range, he's staying outside, so perfect for me. I'll try to control all these ones in here, destroy his AIs, and even though it looks like I'm losing at this stage, <coughs> that's not really true because I have still four AIs, and he's basically on top trying to get the E now, I'm assuming. Let's have a look. He's got three left, I've got four AIs, and he's got no more AIs. So, <coughs> this will definitely work in my favor. My AIs will start going around and disturbing him. <coughs> so it is a strategy, I mean, the developers are trying to give me strategies on how to play, but I'm sorry, but they are not good players. They keep saying that they built the game, so they should know how to play it. I mean, you can build whatever you want, that doesn't make you a good operator. I know, uh, I mean, I operate heavy machinery. Just because an engineer builds it doesn't make him uh, expert on how to operate it, does it? <coughs> and this map is a bit confusing. I always get lost where to go for B or A or C because it's a bit... So he's got close range weapon system on there, a long range weapon system. No chance to take me out even though he had more life because they just not powerful enough from, like they have no chance close range. That's why I'm not bringing my Volgari out at the moment. So I still haven't found B by the way, still looking for it. So I've got four now, <coughs> even if he takes a couple in there, if I can manage to keep my distances from him, 40 meters or above, I should cause quite a bit of damage, and that will be enough to win the game, I guess. As you can see, I'm using cover as much as I can. more than happy to wait. If I go near him, I will, get, I will die. He will take me out with that much life. So remember, you got to keep your distances. There's no point taking a single shot sniper rifle to a guy that has a, I don't know, a <coughs> minigun or something, you know, in real life anyway. If I can take one more bear out of him, Ah, perfect. Now I can play with him. So yeah, all you gotta do, because I have that extra AI left, I use him as a shield. So he's outside. I'll go grab this beacon as well. Which make it, as you can see, this is a self reloading, so perfect. I mean, in some scenarios, I'll bring it out first on a bigger map or whatever. But I have, in the, the last video that I've done, is I brought it out first and kept my distances, didn't fire until I was enough to, far away from everyone. And that's how you play strategically with the weapons that you have at this stage. And the problem is that it will change next week. And that's what scares me. So not a bad outcome for if you use your Pokemon system well. And he's level 30. I mean, if you want to have a look at his hangar, and 
I mean, most eight and nine, uh, I was going to do well. But he's got a decent setup there, pretty much what I have. I mean, except the MR500 there. That's just a long range. That's why he stayed outside. Um, yeah, not bad, to be honest. Um, good on him.